Alright, hello YouTube, this is Nietzenberg, and I'm going to be doing an unboxing of a Minex 3200 mouse, 3200 Naos, sorry. And I just got the package from UPS, and we're going to see what's inside here. Got our shipping list here, which you know what's in there. New Egg always packs everything pretty well. I've never done one of these unboxings before, so I figured, because I've been watching so many of them. Nobody cares. Alright. Comes in a package like this. It's pretty nice. Let's get this crap out of the way. Box is pretty nice quality. Shows all your technical specs here on the back and model overview, system performance, and everything like that. All right. Assume it probably just slides out. Oh, shit. Sorry, everyone. My my camera woman is my sister, and she's a little bit amateur. All right. It's pretty simple. It's it's on the back right there for anybody thinking about getting this. Mm -hmm. All right, and there it is. So pretty. Looks nice. Up here it says a star has been born. This prominent gaming mouse is named after the star Naos. Gives a little background on what the star of Naos is all about. All right, I'm going to lift this packaging up out of here. It's pretty good cardboard. I mean, the box itself is nice. It's something you can really keep and use to store anything else in again, or you know, just store in your other mouse accessories or whatever. Plastic cover for it. What's so great about this mouse? I'm going to talk about this here. Alright, make sure your hands are clean. This is the Naos 3200. It's got a ergonomic design for holding it. It feels really nice. The cord is a uh, not a scratch, sir. That's designed, but um, it's got the Maya Next design here, and it's got a braided cord, so it holds up pretty well. Here's a uh, technical specification thing, I guess. Support card. This is only the 3200 optical series. It doesn't have a laser, as you can notice. It's it's a uh, optical design over here. It's much like a um, Logitech mouse. For a, because uh, I'm coming off an M305, you can notice the size difference a little bit better for, for my palm size. But uh, yeah, let's plug it in and see what it looks like. You know, mouse pad over here. I don't have anything special for a mouse pad, but uh, they recommend you use something nicer for it. There's the uh, design from when it lights up. Looks pretty nice. Lights up here and down here on the bottom. It's actually rather light too. It's uh, this isn't the 5000 series, so it's it's not really that heavy. But um, because the 5000 one comes with weights and things you can put in the back, but it, it's actually a rather light mouse. I'd say in uh, comparison with this, this is actually a little bit lighter. So you get a uh, get good grip movement when you're clicking and whatnot. Alright. I'm gonna turn on the TV here and I hope it's a plug and play because I because I didn't really set up for the um for any driver support up and I just turned on my computer. Alright, come around here sir, you're gonna 
get a shot of the computer. Sorry. Got to turn up the brightness of the computer now. Alright, it's got the, um, if you look closer, it's got these two buttons here, I believe, to change your, uh, your, um, your settings, because there's, there's different DPI settings, and if you want it to be quicker or faster, um, just from scrolling, I, I haven't really put in any drivers yet, so it's, it's rather slow, I don't think it's really even been updated to the specs yet, the, the mouse itself feels really nice, it, it's got a, really nice um, feel to it. Hopefully it's not like the razors where it, it wears off after just a couple of weeks, but it's it's rather clicks and everything pretty well. Alright, so we're going to go uh, here and see if I can update it. Yeah, here it is, the Naos 3200 mouse. It's coming up as a, as a keyboard for some reason. We're going to click that and see what shows. USB composite, USB compliant. All right. Click the mouse. Hmm. Alright, I'm, I'm going to go to the NAOS site and see if I can find something about this. But, uh, yes, let's see. Uh, sorry if this is kind of amateur. I just really want to show off this mouse because, I mean, I, I myself love it. I'm, I'm going to, I saw from another review that this, uh, this changes when you press these. So, yep, there's the color change. I mean, I was told it changes your DPI settings, so. Oh yes, I was right. The, uh, the these change on the go for your sensitivity. Right now, the blue I am assuming is the highest. The green is the second highest, and for sniping and stuff, you got red, which is the slowest. So that's that's pretty neat. Blue is a little bit extreme, I think, for most people. I'm gonna stay at the green area. So I'm gonna to go to Neo's site right now. Or not Neo, so uh, Mayan X. Alright, we're going to go to drivers and support. Get the software for it. And there we go, the Mayan X Neo is 3200, that's what I got. Software version 1.07. Plug and play. It's completely plug and play. Okay, it's only needed when you want to change the settings of the mouse. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna check the settings here for the macro commands and whatnot. All right. Here it is. It downloads in zip files. So you just hope you have WinRAR or another unzipping program. Extract to a uh, same place really under your downloads. So go to here. Let's go to our setup. All right, install wizard. C4. Hey, are you allowed to upload videos that are longer than 10 minutes? Yeah. Mm. Alright, we finish with that. Let's see if it'll launch the, uh, the client for it. 
If not, I'll have to find it. Oh wait, what's this down here? There we go. All right, this is the uh, this is the software for the mouse itself. You can select what you want the buttons to do, like left click, your normal click. You can actually assign it to do other stuff. You can even disable it, which I don't know why, but you could if you really wanted to. Uh, the scroll wheel, forgot to mention that, feels really tactile and just really nice. It's got good feedback on it. Um, I can't stress, again, how good the ergonomics are on it. Your hand literally just rests over here. It, it is a right-handed right -handed mouse. I'm not too sure how many left-handed viewers are out there, but holding your hand on it feels pretty good. Um, it just looks good, honestly. It was, it was, I, I shopped around for a while, you can ask my girlfriend, she was up with me late, a couple nights ago, and probably got upset with me because I was up so late looking at videos and reviews, but this is, this is definitely the mouse, I think, for, for someone looking for it in the long run. I didn't want to get Razer because it was sort of what everyone else is doing, and it just didn't feel too right, so. Let's see what else we got here, we got custom settings. Your mouse hipster. You can change your DPI steps to different layout levels here, like, uh. Right now my red is at my lowest and my, my highest is 3200 at blue for DPI. It goes from 800 to 3200 and your settings are 800 DPI, 1600 DPI, and 3200 DPI. So it's uh, at 3200 DPI it's pretty sens sensitive. You can see here, if you move the camera this way, I'm just barely moving the mouse and if you look on the screen it's it's just whipping around. So that's to give you an idea of just how sensitive 3200 is, as opposed to uh, uh, 800 dp, which I came off of a 1000 dp mouse, and that was that was pretty much enough. I just wanted something with better ergonomics. You can see, coming from something this size, it's going to be a little bit easier to game my hand. I mean, this this is I think mostly designed for gamers, but if you were so, you know working for a long time at the desk, this would be something good for you too. All right, so. Uh, I wanted my red one to be the 1600 and um, my green one to be my 800 and we'll keep the blue at 3200 so that'll be good. Uh, pointer speed I guess you can also increase that here. So put up to 11 and make it quick or just keep it over at the mid range. You get your polling rate which is from 125 hertz to 1000 hertz. So you call it 1000 hertz. Well, it's at 500 originally. So you got to apply. Wait for it to load the software in the mouse. I was, it's got built-in memory actually. The mouse does. So what will happen is any settings you assign to this, if you want to go to a LAN party, you can take it there with you. But uh, let's see, a little bit laggy. I was told on it. So that's our uh, that's our pull rate, macro settings, support, and that's uh, my review for the uh, Myonex 3200, Myonex Neos 3200 mouse. All right, thanks for watching.